Thank you for watching us on YouTube. But did you know that if you're on the go, you can get the full show as a podcast now? You can get our morning breakdown of the most important topics facing our country, news not being covered by the mainstream media, interviews with change-making progressives, and info on what you can actually do about all this. Search for The Damage Report on your favorite podcast app and subscribe so you know when new episodes are ready to go. In the studio, Sarah Jones, very glad to have you here. You're not alone, John. Um, so you are a writer, performer, sort of combination actress host in a one woman show, which uh, had a very successful run and is now coming back in LA for another run. This is yeah. sell by date. I think we have an image that will help get across a little bit of uh, what that show is about. This That's is an analysis of a number of different areas of uh, society having to do with different aspects of sex work through the lens of a number of different characters, all of whom you perform. Right. Um, how does that work in practice? Yeah, so the crazy thing is it's, it is about, you know, it's about women and sex and power, but it's really about all of us, which I think, you know, TYT, like, you know, everything you all do mm -hmm. kind of is connected for me around you know this political moment we're living in. You can't talk about women and sex without talking about Trump. You can't talk about mm -hmm. you know the Supreme Court without talking about sexual assault. I mean, this is the moment we're in, right? So the show is really kind of about everything. Yeah. And I play lots of different characters from different backgrounds. And uh, this show, I have such a great time with the audience. So I'm really excited to get to share it with more mm -hmm. Angelinos. Yeah. This time around, yeah. So uh, obviously, with something like this, I mean, part of it is going to be. I assume the goal is entertainment. People want to have a fun time. If I'm going to drag you to the theater, you better have a yeah. good time. So yes, we're going to have a good time. But is that the only objective? I think you know, like life, we have no choice but to face these difficult things that are going on. But if we don't have some kind of sense of humor, we're not going to make it. Yeah. So I, I think you know the goal is, for example, there's a lot of different characters in the show. I play 19 all together, and they wow. they range. I know it's a lot. It's a lot. I, I take a lot of vitamins, <laughs> but they you know they range from uh, like it's not necessarily who you would think you're going to see in a show about sex work, right, or mm -hmm. prostitution or whatever. So I be a John. I just wanted to pop in and say hello. I can't resist. I'm sorry, but you know, you I don't talk. think we've met. My name is Lorraine Levine. Very glad That's to have you in okay. the studio. You're not going to break my bones with that handshake. <laughs> anyway, Sarah Jones puts us in her show, what she calls her one woman show. And you know what that means. I mean, she takes the credit and makes us come out and do all the work. <laughs> but anyway, the show is entertaining, it's lively, and I'm in it. I like to think of myself as the star. But we also, you know, there's a lot of other people and we all want to talk about what's happening right now. So that's what people will see if they come to the theater. Wow, so look, <laughs> I've, uh, I've read a number of, uh, of reviews of your show and they say that you nail all of the, <laughs> you, you go smoothly from one to the other to the other. And I mean, obviously through body language and, uh, and all of that. Um, I'm gonna ask you a crazy, crazy question. I can um, take it. Just because I don't, I don't act. My girlfriend's an actress. I don't understand how any of it works. Um, so you've been playing these characters, as you say, 19 characters 19 for quite some in time. In this show, there are more, believe uh, it or not. Are they are they starting to affect you? Are you kidding me? So part of me thinks this is just free therapy. Like there's a part mm -hmm. of me that's like, you know, God willing, if we still have health care, I will, you know, still be like the the <laughs> way we all, you know, have to interact in a culture where. There's so much polarization. This is my way of reminding myself I'm no different than anybody else, no matter how I look. I may be young compared to that old older woman I was just doing, but I actually come from a multicultural family, and I feel like my family is a microcosm of the rest of the country and the way we could live. You know, we don't all have to come from the same background to get along yeah. as, you know, like sane human beings. So I think that's where my characters come from is like my family, my neighbors, and the multicultural moment that we're all living in. So uh, I, I want to. I'm going to this interview hoping to learn something. So okay. I want to talk about uh, beyond the show. Obviously, there's the themes of the show, which right. have to do with uh, sex work in multiple different areas, how people think about it, and it certainly feels like for all of the social change I keep hearing about, yeah. conservatives are terrified that everything's changing so fast. Some things don't seem to be, and it still seems like when it comes to sex work in all of its many different forms, mm -hmm. there is an incredible amount of stigma remaining. 
Yeah. What do you think about that? Is that changing over time? Are shows like yours helpful in helping to remove some of the stigma about even talking about sex work? Well, it's funny because even the language that we use, right? It's like the show, I was really fortunate to interview people from all around the world. And I've had incredible mentors, you know, actors. Meryl Streep is one of my mentors. Oh, wow. Lily Tomlin is actually um, the, one of the co-hosts of our opening you know, event. And you're, you're at her theater. And I'm at her, a, near, a theater the that's named for her. At the Renberg Theater, but it's part of the Lily Tomlin and Jane Wagner Cultural Center. But the reason I mention all those people is the imagery that we've seen in Hollywood, right? The, it's either the happy hooker or mm. it's, you know, this downtrodden, like it's always these, there are these one dimensional portrayals that don't give yeah. the women credit for who they are. And it could be, you know, the girl next door, quote unquote. Like I, I want us to humanize the women who are sometimes caught up in an industry mm. they don't want to be in. Many people call it prostitution as opposed to sex work. So I try to get in there and look at all the different angles. Is it exploitation? Is it empowerment for some people? You know, who's looking at it and how? And none of us are as removed from this as we think. Mm. Hello, Stormy Daniels. You know, every time you turn on the news, there's mm. some proximity to the sex industry. So I want us to have that conversation in a more sincere yeah. way. Yeah, and I noticed even, I, I talked, um, so a former adult film star, Aurora Snow, has been on the show. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about that a while back about when Stormy Daniels was, was in the news, even more than she is now, and she still is. Um, the attacks against her, and not just Ridiculous. necessarily attacks, but sort of like snide remarks, oh, yeah. were not just coming from the right. Like it was a very funny thing for a lot that's of a people across the spectrum. Um, and that that's, stigma can come in a lot of different forms. It can come from a desire not to talk at all, but can also be how you talk about it. Yeah, I think judgment and, you know, I mean, misogyny has a lot of, you know, unfortunate guises, but one of them is the ways we punish women for everything. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, you're just, excuse me, you're just damned. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> No, you're not damned, you cut it off there, I think we're fine. You're darned, <laughs> um, you're darned if you do. But you know, I think the goal is to talk about how people wanna hide from you know, our normal human sexuality. And one way we do that is by punishing women, mm -hmm. you know, who are often just trying to earn a living or they've been victims themselves. I learned in doing my research, the average age of a girl first being introduced to sex work or the sex industry is 12 or 13. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's, it's sobering. And I think it's important for us to look at how we label women, judge women and punish women, mm -hmm. you know, for, well, hopefully people will come see the show and see the different angles yeah. of how I wanna look at it. So we talked before uh, before we went live about yeah. how the show has been changing over time. Yeah. Um, but I'm interested, the, the industry that you're talking about obviously is changing as well with different forms of technology, obviously like uh, you know, cam girls and things like that. This totally. is something that wasn't possible 20 or 30 years ago. Um, do you think that these technological changes, the, the websites where there's like, you know, there's sugar daddy websites totally. and things like that. Is this helping in general so, or is this just changing? You know, it's so interesting. I, in the different characters in the show what, who are so happy to be here and huge TYT fans, um, <laughs> I'll let one of them. Do. Hi, so my name is Bella. I'm super stoked to be here right now. Hi, John. Um, hey, Bella. I met Sarah Jones because I'm a feminist, but I'm like a sex positive feminist. Like, I don't want people like telling me what I can and cannot do with like my body. In fact, like I co-host like, uh, well, it's, a, I don't really wanna invite like, you know, toxic masculinity into this space, but like, you know, there's a like strippers event that I host on Wednesdays on my campus that's like feminist stripping. Um, it's called Don't Get All Pole Emical. Um, but you know, like the point is we should get to decide like what we want to do. And the industry is changing, technology is changing, but the one thing that's not changing is like people wanting to shame women. And we want to talk about healthy sex for like everyone so that we don't feel so restrictive which is like a <laughs> word that I made that means so strict, it's ridiculous. And you're empowered to make up words if you want to. Uh, so she appreciates that. I have one other question for you. So you talk there about wanting you know, this, this for everybody. So I'm yeah. imagining, especially in LA, yeah. a lot of the people that watch your show are gonna be libs of one form or another. We get some libs. Um, but you've been doing this show for some time. What has the reaction been from conservatives that have watched? So I've gotten people, I've been surprised at not just the range politically, but also this has really been unique for me, gender wise. Mm -hmm. Men who are like, is this like a chick show? You know, is it like mm -hmm. their girlfriend drags them to the show? And then they say, oh my God, I've never 
thought about this this way. Like I had no idea what I was stepping into and I actually feel like I'm moved and you know, I play men in the show. My mm -hmm. goal is not to attack anybody. It's to have like a more interesting conversation that invites all of us to the table, so. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. And you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna drag my girlfriend to your show. Oh my God, I love it. Which is starting uh, the September preview 27th. is September 27th. Yeah, okay. so and then, I'll see you in seven days, T-minus seven days okay, at the Renberg good. Theater in Hollywood. Well, thank you very much. It's been great talking to you. Thank you, John. My sounds pleasure. Like an awesome show. Our pleasure. <laughs> there you go. 19 <laughs> pleasures. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.